Hi, I'm Anthony. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm Ash. Hi, hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lead singer for My Beloved Train. After tour, we uh, pretty much came together and decided that we wanted to add somebody to MBT who was really, really into where we were going. Had the kind of same thought process. Uh, we had a quick meeting about what we were looking for in a drummer and, you know, an extra bandmate. And I guess right after that is when we started searching. Hi, I'm Anthony. My Beloved Tragedy. I play rhythm guitar and compile a list of everyone who, who reached out to us or everyone we found and set up dates for them to show up to practices. So after a couple practices, there were a few people that came and didn't really learn the Hi, music. I'm Tommy, I'm the lead guitar player for My Beloved Tragedy. Jeff and Anthony had a couple ideas. Jeff wanted to post some things on Craigslist, and Anthony may have wanted to post some stuff at Guitar Center, because Guitar Center has like a big board, all kinds of postings and stuff. Um, I think Jeff got like three or four people from the Craigslist or emails or something sent to him. Our whole plan was, was to go on things like you know Craigslist, uh, go to Guitar Center or Sam Ash and just like sit there for an hour waiting for people to start drumming and then, you know, it's bum rush their asses with like questions if they were in a band. I'm Ash. I'm the bassist. I was more depressed about it because since I don't live in Columbus anymore, it was, you know, how am I supposed to find one and, you know, it was very difficult for me to like think, you know, where I can look. But, uh, Uh, oh, actually, I'll take that back. He, uh, his name was not Beavis, but he came to practice uh, to try out, a tryout, mind you. Now, now, when I go to tryouts, you know, I would practice, but apparently he came, uh, he sat down on his drum set that he sat, did he use ours? Yeah, he used our drum set. Uh, so he sits down and we're like, all right, well, what do you want to go over? And he's like, well, I didn't really listen to the music. And I'm like, okay, uh, this is, should be interesting. And he's like, so I kind of, I kind of listened to, to Sanctuary. And to those of you who may be new to MBT, Sanctuary is very drum driven and difficult song to play. <laughs> so you know, I just, just prayed and hoped that he could nail this. So we began, and it was horrible. So, you know, I kind of I kind of couldn't make the face and let him know that I wanted to tell him to go. But uh, I just kept a smile and I was like, "All right, well maybe we should we should try something else." Uh, so we moved on to some other songs and they went as equally as well as Sanctuary. And I looked for more drummers who were looking for bands, not so much like posted our band and say we were looking for drummers. And there were a couple of people that I found um, and David was one of them. Uh, David I had contacted a while ago about doing a show with us that when our old drummer couldn't do it um, and he had some problems committing to that show so but I, I still contacted him and everything uh, and he said he was interested in auditioning. Hello I'm David. I play drums in my blood chatter. Um, you know I haven't played, played drums for like two years so I was kind of feeling the itch my drums just kind of sat in the basement. I played them, you know, every now and then just to mess around on. Then David came for his tryouts and he sat down and it was just kind of one of those things where we started going through a song and it was, it was, you knew that that was going to be the choice. And like I kind of looked over at Jeff and he looked at me with this big Kool Aid smile. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, that was that. And it was kind of, Trying to keep your composure to not let him know that he had the gig and to give him the whole, well, thanks for coming out, we'll call you back once we make a decision speech, even though after he left that night, we all knew that that was David came, run. like, I think I contacted him on a Tuesday, and I sent him the music for our stuff on Thursday, I want to say, and he was like, oh, I already downloaded it on iTunes, and I was like, shit, we just made 10 bucks off of it. 
then after that, I was just like, okay, when do you want to, you know, we practice every Monday, when do you want to show up? And he said, all right, I'll come this coming Monday. And I was just kind of shocked because everybody else wanted like two weeks to prepare. And he had probably about four days. Uh, when he showed up, he had his own gear, which was really, really nice. Play music, you kind of have a uh, feeling for what you want to play and the genre of music you want to be in. And it's just really hard to find something that suits you and suits your style. So, um, when Jeff contacted me again after I placed another ad on Craigslist, you know, I was pretty stoked. It's not. But, um, you know, I just gave me another opportunity to try out. I downloaded the CD, learned some of the songs real quick, in like two or three days. And, you know, just coming down and, you know, at first try out, I was a little nervous because, you know, it was something I really wanted to be in. I felt that we could take it, you know, they could be uh, something big someday. And it really suited my style. Was really awesome that really impressed me was when we did When One Die. Um, I mean, that song again was, he went, we went through it solid. I mean, I don't think there was any issues or anything. David just fucking nailed it. And like, we were all rocking out. Like, we had all this energy going and stuff. We were all just like rocking out during that song. I mean, we just felt like a band when we played that song, man. And I think Anthony and, uh, looked at Jeff, or Jeff looked at Anthony, and they just, they just uh, had this look on their face. Like, <laughs> that um, he's the one. And I was, I was feeling the same thing. Like, David's gonna be the, he's not here at all. And then David came, and it just seemed like his attitude and the way he just presented himself just felt right. And then he already had his homework done, and he got you know the songs, our songs, you know, correct and, and down. And it just seemed right, you know, and and. So we eventually said, you know, hey, come join him to tea, and you know, he was happy, and we were happy, and it was just so good that, you know, he gelled so well with us, that, you know, it just seemed like he was with us the entire time. Auditions, 